The Battle of Malkinija, also known as the Battle of Gornichevo, was the opening battle of the Monastir Offensive. It lasted for three days and ended in victory for the Entente forces. Background In August 1916 the fighting on the Balkans took a new turn with the involvement of Romania in the Great War. Concerned with this turn of events the Bulgarian High Command convinced its allied German High Command that a demonstration of force was necessary on the Macedonian front in order to shorten the Central Powers front line and carry out a preemptive strike against the Entente forces in Salonika that were preparing an offensive of their own, hoping to assist Romania. So on 17 August the Bulgarian First Army began the Chegan offensive into Chlorine but after 10 days of fighting failed to achieve its objectives. On 27 August the operation was called off and the army ordered to dig in on the positions between Lake Petersko, Lake Ostrovo and along the ridge of the Malkinija mountain it had occupied. Prelude the Bulgarian forces in the occupied areas constituted the right wing of the Bulgarian First Army. These were the 3rd Infantry Brigade of the 6th BDIN Infantry Division, reinforced with 3rd of Cavalry Brigade, 8th Tunzer Infantry Division and the 1st Infantry Brigade of the 3rd Balkan Infantry Division. A total of around 36 infantry battalions, 30 artillery batteries, 74 machine guns and 10 cavalry squadrons. The front line which they had to protect however was 79 kilometers which meant that in general it was thinly held. The army as a whole was operating in a mountainous region and lacking sufficient mountain artillery. The ratio of field to mountain guns was 9 to 1.5. The Entente forces consisted of the Serbian Third Army under the command of General Pavla Juris Exterm with the Varda, Danube and Drina infantry divisions in the first line and the Marava division in second line. The Serbians were to deliver the main attack in the direction of Malkinija and Bornicevo. Directly opposing them on the 10-kilometre front were the 1st and 2nd Infantry Brigades of the Bulgarian 8th Tons of Division, 10 and a half. Infantry battalions supported by 15 artillery batteries in the 1st line and the divisional reserve of 3 battalions in the 2nd line. On the southwest side of Lake Ostrovo were the forces of General Victor Louis Cordonnier which consisted of the French 156th and 57 Infantry divisions and supported by a Russian infantry brigade. Their objective was the Malarica Range. Opposing them on a 20-kilometre front were three battalions, three artillery batteries and six cavalry squadrons in the first line supported by another three and a half battalions with five artillery batteries in the second line. In addition on the eastern side of Lake Ostrovo, between the two main Allied forces was the Serbian Cavalry Division of four mounted and twelve dismounted squadrons. For both directions of the Allied advance the Bulgarians could also count on the army reserve of four and a half battalions and a single mountain artillery battery in the third line. Battle Early in the morning on 12 September 1916 in the Malkinija sector the Allied artillery began a preparatory artillery barrage against the two. Bulgarian infantry brigade situated there. It continued with varying intensity and accuracy for almost the entire day. The Serbian infantry used this to approach the Bulgarian barbed wire on the right flank and achieve limited gains in the center of the line because the Bulgarian artillery prevented them from advancing further at that moment. The Bulgarian counterattack was delayed and was launched in the evening. It managed to temporarily restore the Bulgarian positions but under the heavy Allied artillery fire the casualties were heavy and the position soon became untenable. Simultaneously with the Serbian attack against Gornichevo the French and Russians began their own advance and quickly overran the first Bulgarian line forcing the forces there to retreat to the main defensive line on the Malarica Ridge. On 13 September the Allied artillery continued its barrage and the Serbians used their time only to get even closer to the Bulgarian positions. 
By the end of the day the Bulgarian soldiers had retired to their main defensive line on the Malkan Nidja. On 14 September the Allied artillery fire began causing serious damage to some Bulgarian artillery batteries which decreased their ability to support the Bulgarian infantry. The Serbian infantry began its attack at about 10 a.m. and managed to enter an 800-meter part of the front line between the 23rd and 30th Infantry regiments, which wasn't fortified or guarded in sufficient numbers. The Bulgarian companies that were sent to plug the gap failed to halt him and soon began retreating together with other forces that were in the area. Even the troops serving the local Bulgarian artillery batteries were swept by the retreat and had to retire, leaving their damaged guns to the Serbians. This compromised the defense of the entire front line. By the evening the Bulgarians had retired along the entire line in the direction of Banatse and grouped around the divisional reserve. The Serbian success however threatened the flank of the Bulgarians' forces on Malarika Ridge and they also decided to retire. Aftermath during the three days of fighting the 1st and 2nd Brigade of the 8th Tudza Division suffered on average 21% casualties and abandoned many of their artillery guns which further weakened them despite that they managed to retreat to a new position around Lorene. Their defeat forced the western parts of the right wing of the Bulgarian 1st Army also to retire and thus opened the way for further Allied attacks that would develop in the three-month-long Monastir Offensive.